I'm back! And today we are making granola. In my next video, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to properly burn your bra. No, really, granola is so good. I grew up eating like regular store-bought granola bars, like, you know, those Quaker Chewy bars and like Nature Valley bars. I used to love those things. They're actually not really that good for you. There's a lot of sugar in them. But making your own granola is so easy. And I know we've done it on the channel before. This is like my third granola video. I get it. But you did click on it. And that must mean that you like it as much as I do. It's fun to have in the fridge. I'm gonna stop rambling. I am so far behind my self-inflicted filming schedule that we really need to get this going. I didn't even wipe the table before I started this video. That's how much I am trying to save time right now. So let's get into it. First step, they want us to preheat the oven. Now, if you've watched me before, you know I don't usually do that because I tend to be a little slow when it comes to mixing ingredients, especially when I'm explaining things to the camera, right? But this is such a simple recipe, which is why I chose it. I will have it linked in the description, by the way, but anyway, I'm gonna go preheat my oven. They say to preheat yours to 325. We're gonna do 335 if it does that. I think it does. <laughs> Um, my oven just, I, I find that I should usually go 10 degrees higher. All right, so now we just want to mix together oats, salt, chia seeds, and cinnamon. So let's do that. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Um, I am using, I don't know if they're old-fashioned oats. That's what they say to use. I think they're rolled oats. I don't know if that's the same thing, but I'm using them. They say to use, as you can see, I've got all of my measuring cups on the ring because um, that's exactly where you want them when you're actually trying to make something. Oats. Now it's time for our salt. Oh, it's fine. You guys don't have to eat it. I do. Shake up. We'll do a little extra oats. If you're new to my channel, I swear things don't always go wrong like this. Just do an extra splash of every ingredient. <laughs> Next, we want chia seeds. I use these. If you uh, if you'd like Bob's Red Mill to sponsor me comment that below. Now they say to use two tablespoons, but since we spilt a little extra salt, we'll do like, I don't know, two and a quarter, two and a half. Now chia seeds, by the way, if you're not on TikTok, because <laughs> TikTok is just full of nutritional information these days, then you might not know that chia seeds are very, very good for you. There they are. They have a lot of like omega-3 and protein and they're good for your gut. Uh, I think they help regulate you, but we won't talk about that anymore. I'll put some health benefits on the screen because I think that chia seeds are widely misunderstood. Okay, and cinnamon. <laughs> we're gonna do a teaspoon and then a splash since that's how we're doing this recipe today. We'll just do like one heaping teaspoon in the bowl. Now we wanna stir in our peanut butter, honey, coconut oil, and vanilla. I have to warm up the coconut oil. But you know what, let's, let's add those other ingredients first. Okay, so they want a third a cup, no, a half a cup of peanut butter. And it's funny, they say to use natural peanut butter. I happen to buy natural peanut butter, but I'm not using it because they told me to. I'm using it because I wanted to. I don't think I have a half of a cup in here, so we're gonna find out together. So the thing with peanut butter is it's not easy to measure, you know, cause like, it's not easy to get out of the jar, especially when it's towards the bottom. Ooh, hello. This is one instance where I will admit, I think it would be easier to just weigh the ingredient. And I would never admit that normally. But getting peanut butter and oil and honey out of a measuring cup is such a pain in the ass. I could understand why one might measure them instead. Cause you would just like have your bowl and you know, see, you, you get it, you know. Ooh, guys, we are scraping the bottom of the jar. I watched a video from someone, I don't remember who, where they were saying like, when you have a little bit of peanut butter left in the jar and it's like, you can't scoop it out, but but, you know, you're gonna waste it if you throw out the jar. She said, don't throw out the jar, make overnight oats in the jar. Which, like, I'm not into overnight oats, however, I hate wasting even more. So, maybe I'll do a video on that. Comment below if you want me to do a video on that. So because we have <laughs> extra salt and extra everything else now too, I didn't want to skimp on the peanut butter, you know? I don't want it to be like weirdly salty or like, I mean, it's called peanut butter granola. So like, if there's anything you should definitely notice and taste, it's the peanut butter, right? There we go. Oh, gross. There's oil on top. I forgot about that. This is getting very messy, <laughs> very fast, and I have other videos that I'm hoping to shoot. See guys, this is why I always wear the same shirt now in my videos because I don't wanna start getting stains on everything. All right, we're gonna have to stir that up. Okay, the oven is almost ready, so we have got to hustle. Well, I have got to hustle. You have nothing to do. <laughs> that sounded insulting. I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> oh 
boy. This is like, yeah. I don't remember the other jar being this oily. All right, hope you can see what I'm doing. This is very gloopy and gloppy and wet and sloppy and <laughs> all the other things that rhyme. I'll fast forward you guys ahead. All right, we're finally done making a mess with the peanut butter. Let me show you guys what it looks like. This is everything with the peanut butter. These are all the little globs that were stuck on my fingers. Moving on. All right, now we want honey. Another pain in the ass to measure. All right, so this is my honey. This is my measuring cup. I'm gonna stand here and pour this out and then I'll dump it. It's gonna take forever. So you guys, I'll see you in the next step. Don't forget to add extra honey if you spilled extra salt like I did. Just an extra drizzle. Let's get an action shot of that. There's the honey. Join in the family. Okay, so now you would add the coconut oil. I'm gonna add my vanilla first, cause then we're gonna melt the coconut oil in the microwave behind me and then stir everything together and then it's ready to bake. So vanilla first. Now they say a teaspoon, so you know the drill now. We'll do slightly more. All right, so we want a quarter cup of melted coconut oil. It's like weird that we're finally finishing this because I bought it so many years ago. So if you're worried about your coconut oil not lasting, I think it probably will. This is slightly more than a quarter cup. I'm guessing I can probably melt this with, I don't know, like 20 seconds in the microwave. We're gonna start at 20. So I'm gonna start mixing all of this together while that's in the microwave, so then we can just add that in. This is quite a gloopy mess. Okay, this is nice. So the oats are sticking to the sticky things. So that's gonna help, I think, prevent them from getting stuck to the bowl and being wasted. So nice. I do want you guys to see what I'm doing. It's a little tricky because I didn't bring out a second tripod today. So let's see if I can uh, be coordinated here. All right, we're <laughs> recording. Nope, nope, the bowl's gonna move. I can't quite stir. But okay, this is what it looks like now. Here's what it looks like in the middle of stirring. This is what it looks like now when I'm considering it fully stirred. I don't believe there's a single dry oat left in there. This is my big ass baking sheet that we're using today. This thing is huge, so I use it anytime I can because it makes me happy. There's like shit in it though. I think I need to wipe it. I don't know what that was about. I might've spilled some like spices while I was mixing the granola. We're gonna use parchment paper so it doesn't really matter. Plus, you guys aren't eating this. We got our lined pan, folks. Spread into flat layer, that's all they say. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to try my best to get this granola to form a bar shape, and I do know that that means that once it finishes cooking in the oven, we're gonna have to let it cool completely and possibly freeze it before I cut it into bars. But that's my plan. I would like to, I would like this to maintain a bar shape. So, into the pan it goes. I probably could have used a smaller pan. I seem to do this a lot in my videos. I just get so excited that I have this big pan and I just want to use it every time I bake. Most of the time it's really not called for. It's part of a set. But the other parts of the set just aren't as exciting as the big ass pan. I'm gonna say it should be roughly half an inch thick. This is how you greet other granola eaters. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Now, I like this recipe because there's no egg in it, so I don't think you usually do put egg in um, granola. I could be wrong, I don't remember, but this recipe at least has no egg, so it's really just a matter of like toasting the oats and getting everything to be a little less sticky. So I like that, you know, when you're baking with raw egg, it's always a little nerve wracking when you're not sure if it's fully cooked and you gotta do the toothpick test, or sometimes they don't tell you to do a toothpick test and then you just have to go on blind faith. But we don't have to go on blind faith today because there's no egg, so I'm just gonna throw this in the oven. I should show you what it looks like. Like first though. Note the little chia seeds poking out to say hello. All right, so we're gonna bake this and I'll see you guys when it's done. The recipe says to bake for 18 to 22 minutes, so I'm gonna give it 21 minutes because that's the age I tell people I am. Okay guys, the granola just finished. It's like browning around the edges, which I've made granola before and I have never accomplished that, but this looks so good. I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna let this cool and then I will do a taste test for you. I'm back again. I was cutting an onion for our next video and man, did that get to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've also been picking on the granola off camera, so I figured I should be honest with you guys and tell you that I really like it. But also, because I want more granola and because this is how I do my videos, I'm going to do a taste test now. Look at this, guys. I'm a rock star at plating. So here we go. Cheers. It's good. Mine got a little toastier than I would have preferred. Mm. So good. I'm gonna give this recipe an A. I hope there's not food in my teeth. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, leave me a comment below. Let me know you made it all the way to the end. Maybe give me a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe. You should definitely turn on notifications if you enjoy my videos and wanna see them as I upload. I do not have an upload schedule. I aim for three videos a week. 
Some weeks it's only two. On really shitty weeks it's only one. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>